So you've chosen your hacking tool. That's it. That's your identity now. You didn't just install Burp Suite. You joined a cult. You didn't run Nmap. You declared war on the network. Welcome to the ecosystem where the tool you use says more about you than your actual resume. Let's start with the classics. If you're using Nmap, you're the kind of person who treats scanning like a love language. You don't hack first. You foreplay with ports. You run dash S V dash A like it's a spiritual ritual. And every time it returns filtered, your soul dies just a little bit. Burp sweet. Oh, you've had that target open in your tabs for six hours, and you still haven't sent a single request through Intruder. You've spent more time renaming your request folders than actually testing anything. It's giving productivity LARPing. Now, if you're rocking Metasploit, you're still living in 2012. You ran one eternal blue exploit on a test VM once, and now you think you're a red team operator. Newsflash. Knowing how to type use exploit windows out SMB SMS 1710 eternal blue does not mean you're Neo. SQL map users, look, you don't even try anymore. You see a URL, copy it into SQL map, pray it spits out something useful. And if it doesn't, you rage quit and blame WAFs. You're not an attacker. You're a slot machine addict. And John the Ripper users, you sit there watching password hashes crack in real time like it's ASMR. You enjoy the suffering. You live for it. Your system sounds like it's about to lift off because you just had to use wordless mode with seven rules stacked. And then there's Nikto. You scan everything, exploit nothing. You're the academic of the hacker world, collecting vulnerability data like Pokemon cards, never actually doing anything with them. But oh, we're not done. The reverse engineers, the elite terminal warriors. If you're using Radar 2, you're either a genius or you just really enjoy pain. The interface alone is a psychological experiment. You'll spend 45 minutes trying to figure out what AFL does and end up rewriting the binary out of spite. Gidra users, I get it. You like control. You like precision but you also like opening 47 decompiler tabs and forgetting what you were even looking for. You haven't seen sunlight in three days and your brain thinks in hexadecimal. And then there's the bash script gang. You wrote 400 lines to automate a 30 second curl command. It's inefficient, it's buggy, and you'll defend it to the death. You've built a local C2 server in North Carolina and you're wondering why nobody's hiring you yet. Now look, all jokes aside, every hacker starts somewhere. Whether you're reverse engineering malware in Ghidra or launching SQL map like a digital bazooka, none of it matters if you don't actually know what you're doing. Tools don't make you a hacker. Knowledge does. Understanding what's happening under the hood, that's what separates someone who's just running scripts from someone who can write their own. That's exactly why we built Cyberflow Academy. It's not just another YouTube tutorial or outdated blog post from 2009. It's real, structured training in bug bounty hunting, web hacking, and reverse engineering, built by hackers who actually make money doing this. You'll learn how the tools work, not just how to run them. No fluff, no filler. And the private Discord, yeah, that's where the good stuff is. Real exploits, real hackers, real results. So if you're tired of guessing and copying random payloads hoping they work, it's time to actually learn the game. First link in the description.